in the south of Odisha and the border of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha is a big mountain called Mahindra Giri that is elephant country and there are elephant trainers out there once I was passing by and I found elephants shackled with a rope tied to a peg stuck in the ground I asked the Mahavat elephant trainer how come you have managed to tie this huge elephant with a little peg to the ground he said Swamiji when the elephant was yet a baby at that time it was tied with the peg now when it was a baby it did not have the strength to yank the peg out and it became conditioned if this rope is tied to the ground then I cannot pull it out now when it's become a full-fledged animal it can even yank out a tree but its conditioning is preventing it from doing so you see there are these fleas now fleas have this ability to jump 16 feet at least that's what Wikipedia claims 16 feet but you do an experiment you put fleas into a tin box where they only have one foot space to jump now they will jump a few times and then they will realize that we cannot jump more than one foot after that you open the lid they will keep jumping one foot they will never try to jump more than that they have become conditioned similarly our behavior becomes conditioned you see the mind has got its conscious aspect and its subconscious aspect the conscious aspect is what you are aware of and then there is the subconscious aspect of which we are not even aware supposing a dog scared the wits out of you when you were a three-year-old now you've developed this phobia for dogs and even you don't realize why it is happening to me but it is embedded in the subconscious so every time a dog makes its appearance you become scared you can keep on struggling consciously but you will have to correct the subconscious in other words conditioning and habits are so vital to our human nature practically 90% of our behavior and thought is determined by it the way we think is not consciously decided at every moment such conscious choices are few and far between invariably we involuntarily respond to situations without analyzing as a result of our habits in other words our habits have conditioned us and our conditioning creates the way we think the way we respond if your conditioning is to be pessimistic and you hear from Swamiji it's better to be optimistic and positive you say all right now let me be optimistic and positive it will be a struggle if you wish to be optimistic and positive you will have to change the habit and conditioning so that optimism becomes a spontaneous response that comes from inside so habits will require practice 
practice is important the knowledge we have heard we will need to practice it